Tomorrow is often the busiest day of the week. Should I explain it? Because everyone you see has moved the activity to tomorrow. Tomorrow is often the busiest day of the week. The busiest day of the week. You are 43. They are still having meetings of when you will get married. You are already late. When will you have the strength as a man to train those children? The one thing about being late is you can run to the king of kings and he will restore the years you have lost. That's why in 2.25 of the book of Joel, the Bible says, I will restore all the years that the canker worm, the caterpillars, the swarming locusts, my great army. It was God that sent them. It wasn't witchcraft. That restoration is the restoration that came as a result of the choices you made yourself. It is that canker one, palma one, swarming locusts, there are four of them. One attacks finance, another one attacks years, another attacks your health, another attacks relationship. These things came not because someone is against you and did a charm that whatever you get will scatter, but because there were decisions you took that are not favorable to the height you should climb. So God, it, it doesn't mean he, he released the army. He's simply telling us that nature is the one that instituted nature. That any man that is lazy must be poor. It's one of the profound statements Jesus has had to make in the scriptures. One of these days, the disciples accused him. One of the disciples. Why did you allow this woman to break the alabaster box? Don't you know we would have given this thing to the poor? Jesus said, this she has done. She has done well. For anywhere the gospel is preached, her name will be mentioned. For the poor. For the poor. You will always have in your midst. That's why in Nigeria, as poor as it is, there are people that are not poor. In America, as rich as it is, there are poor people. Because poverty is not the state of a nation. Poverty is the state of the mind. I know some economies and environment do not allow people, economies to thrive, prosperity to thrive. But I want you to know that if you consider the wind, because there is always what you have to give excuses for. Mm. Buhari escape. If you say you are not eating because of Buhari, everybody can understand it. But you are going to ask yourself, why are some people eating? And some are not eating. The greatest cure of procrastination is to avoid excuses. People who take excuses at all times are excused from greatness. Are excused from greatness. So tomorrow is the busiest day of the week. 